So there's the temple in Orlando. It's definitely like my favorite temple now. It really is just beautiful. Um, and in the mission there, there were five stakes when I got there and they or five or six, I don't remember now, but they added one right as I was leaving. Um, and so there was, there was good growth, especially in, it seemed like in central Orlando area, that's where they, they created the new stake. There was one that split and so they had enough members and there was enough growth. It was really exciting. Um, yeah, the members, I love the members out there. They were great. I was, I was like, I was pretty curious about members and wards outside of Utah. I'd never, you know, been outside of Utah really, or at least lived there. I've been there long enough to experience um, the church really functioning. Um, but I, I got out there and I was able to go be part of ward council and PEC and all these meetings. Um, and I was just astounded at how the priesthood and the Lord work the same everywhere. So I got to Florida and it was, it was just like going to church back home. Um, just different people, but they, they had the same love. Um, it's the same structure and same organization. Everything was just, it was growing like the church worldwide is growing. Um, and it was really cool to, to be a part of that in Florida because it's, it's the Lord's church everywhere. So it was really cool. So I, I spoke English, um, but our mission also, there were Spanish speaking missionaries. Um, there were Portuguese speaking missionaries and there were also Haitian Creole speaking missionaries. Um, and that was because there was a huge diversity throughout our whole mission. It's just a mixing pot down there. Um, we met people from South America, um, plenty of places, Jamaica, Cuba, Haiti, all the islands over there. Um, there were plenty of, of Muslim people, people from India out on the eastern side of, of our world. Um, so there, was, there were tons of people everywhere and a lot of them had, you know, different religions. Um, I, like I would go, I was even about to name them, but they're basically all of them you can think of probably. Um, and so there were plenty that had heard some about the church, some that, you know, knew nothing and a lot of, um, a lot of false ideas and things like that. But I think you probably find that anywhere. Um, there was just huge diversity and it was, it was really cool to see. And like, it didn't matter who, who we talked to. We just had the love for him. Like we met plenty of, of different people. Um, but we wanted every single one of them um, to listen to what we had um, and to, to feel the Lord's love for them. And so I think that was a huge lesson um, and a blessing for me to learn. Like, even though I, I had always wanted to actually go foreign and like meet new people. So Florida, especially Orlando, I think was a, a good place because there were so many, um, you know, people from other, other nations there that I got to meet. Um, so that was a blessing for me and just like seeing how the Lord wanted us to find and talk to every single one of them. So it was just a huge blessing to, to see that. I was surprised at how, how many addictions we ran into. I, you know, I had no idea there were as many people that smoked and drank, um, down in the South there's tea was huge. Um, I don't know that it was necessarily an addiction, but maybe for some people down there, um, but definitely like the word of wisdom was something huge. Um, a lot of the commandments, things that people had never even really heard of, um, law of chastity was, was something new for a lot of people. Um, I wish I would have been more bold just from the beginning. Um, I wish that I would have been able to even maybe practice um, teaching some of those things like the law of chastity and, and the word of wisdom. Um, some of the commandments that are kind of make or break for a lot of people when they hear about them. Um, and hopefully, you know, if they've read the Book of Mormon, they'll, they'll have a testimony and, and they'll be able to change regardless. Um, but I wish I would have been able to practice beforehand a little bit um, and just be able to extend powerfully the commitments to live those things. Um, and have a, just a, just a powerful testimony of them, um, to like say like, this really will bless you. Like you have no idea 
Um, but yeah, there were there were lots of struggles. Um, but it was it was awesome to see. Like I, I remember a lot of our members that had had converted. Um, a lot of them were able to relate to a lot of the investigators that I taught in the mission. Um, people that had overcome smoking. We we brought them as fellowship for an investigator that that was struggling with smoking, and they they did an incredible job um, giving support and advice. Um, and so it's it's cool to see like there were there were plenty of things that were hard for people. Um, but the Lord had tools um, in the members that were there to help. And so, I don't know, wherever people go, there's challenges. Um, but the Lord provides a way for us to, to help them overcome them. So that was cool. A lot of the wards I served in were, were decent size. Um, I feel like there were a lot of, a lot of less actives. And so, like, sacrament meeting attendance was was lower than we always wanted it to be. Um, but usually there were, you know, over a hundred people at church. Um, and there were, um, some wards that were, yeah, because of the diversity, they, they would have branches, um, for like the Spanish speaking in some areas, um, or they just have, you know, the missionaries translate, um, stuff like that. So I served, I left November 2012, got back November 2014. Um, I started off in the Leesburg Stake, um, Mineola was the area. And then I got transferred to the Orlando South zone um, in, in the city. Um, and I served in two areas back to back. I served in the Bumby area and then I served in Olympia. Um, and after that, I got transferred down um, into the Cocoa Zone, down by Cocoa Beach. I served right there um, in the Rockledge Ward, and that was super fun. Um, and then when my time there was up, I got back to the Leesburg Zone, where I started my mission. Um, I was in the Leesburg Ward, and actually spent like 13 months combined in the Leesburg Zone. So that was a, that was a party. I got to know it pretty well. Um, and then for my last transfer, I got um, transferred up to DeLand, kind of the, the northeastern part of the mission. And um, I served in the DeLand First Ward. And so they, they were great areas. I loved, I loved them all. It was, it was really good.